Rage, welcome. Welcome. Rage is always first. You know that, Bibba said. He's always first. It's the law, apparently. Uh, anything else going on? Shout out. Yes, thanks for doing the shout outs. Yeah, please. Uh, anyone shout out for everyone. Uh, I'm terrible at this. I left it on so that anyone can do it. We definitely need to shout out Steve. Um, we've got a shout out for said. Who else? Who else? Karen. Already done, Karen. Oh, well done. J10B2 is all on top of it. That's great. Okay, cool. Um, what else have I got going on here? I've got so many different things going on. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's something else I can do at the same time here. Do not tell Rage that yet. <laughs> Only for a sec, kiddo has been sick and I, oh, I haven't had no sleep. Oh man, yeah, I feel for you, that sucks. I, I know that well, yeah. Um, Okay. Uh, what else can I talk about? Oh yeah, it's council collection time around uh, my suburb at the moment, which happens once or twice a year. It's the time when everyone throws out all the old junk they don't want. It's a great time for picking up free stuff that you can use. So um, it happens on the, the weekend, but people sort of start throwing stuff out early. So I got a nice bit of hardwood of some sort today. I'm not sure what it was. It was um, part of a chair leg or something. Um, no idea what I'll use it for, but you know, it looked like good quality wood. Don't even know what it is. It's probably Queensland maple. Looking at it, um, could be. Oh, well, it could be silky oak. It's kind of got that cross, cross grain stuff happening. Um, yeah, it could be silky oak. Could be Queensland maple. Not sure. Um, also, a couple of sheets of melamine. So this stuff is actually really cheap. Like this is just, you know, shelf material. And you can get in the hardware store for like, you know, big sheets for, you know, 20 bucks or something on sheets. So this, this is probably, you probably get something bigger than this, I think for, or about this size maybe for 20 bucks. So it's not, it's not expensive, but I don't buy it because you can just find it all the time. People are always throwing out wardrobes and stuff like that. Uh, and this stuff is pretty good for doing table saw jigs and stuff, which, you know, I'll need to be, build some of those. Um, and the reason it's good is because the, the melamine surface is always really flat. It's always a really flat surface, which is important for most of the time when you're, when you're building woodworking tools. And it's also very slippery, so it, it slides well on, uh, on the surface of the saw. So the crosscut sled that I built, um, after building it, I used some furniture hard wax on it so that it glides nicely across the table. But with melamine, you don't even need that because it's, just, it's just so slippery. It's just ready to go. So this stuff is really good for building jigs. Uh, and so when I do see it, if I see some that hasn't sort of been rained on too much, this was rained on a little bit, so I actually trimmed down the edges already to get rid of all the, the wet stuff so it doesn't seep any further. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll generally pick up a sheet or two of this kind of stuff just because it's really handy to have occasionally. I uh, don't need a lot of it, but when you need it, it's just really good to have it. So, uh, also means less, you know, less stuff going to the tip. No point creating more waste than we need to. Ukulele neck. You know what? I did think about that. I was looking at this and I was like, oh, it's not, it's not terrible for, like, it's not quite right for a neck um, in terms of the grain. So look at the grain orientation. It's normally not straight up and down. But I had this thought that, you know, if I, you know, uh, resort it down the middle and then kind of flipped it or something like that. So you'd have the two opposing grain directions kind of cancelling out. But it's not long enough for a guitar neck. But yeah, for a ukulele neck, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I, I haven't done a ukulele before. Um, if I haven't done any acoustic instruments before. I've only done electrics. And I would really like to do an acoustic at some point, but it's a level of expertise in tooling that I haven't reached yet. I could do an electric ukulele. <laughs> Do people do electric ukuleles? I don't know. We could do a uh, cigar box guitar, maybe. Actually, went looking for a cigar box not long ago. I went down to the, the local tobacconist, um, and they sell cigarettes, they sell cigars, they sell this other stuff. And I asked them for the box, the guitar, the, the guitar, the cigars come in, and they were completely confused. They had no idea what a cigar box was at the tobacconist, which I thought was really weird. So. 
I don't know. Alright, um, that stuff's dry. I need to go and stick that on. This is a straightforward operation. Part A goes on to part B, like so, and that will just sticky down. Uh, oh, no, I don't want it right on the edge. I want it a little bit in from the edge. Okay. Yeah, so after printing this out and gluing it all together, you know, cutting all the bits up and that kind of thing, I realised that for all these uh, round pieces of wood, these round uh, panels that I've got, um, there's actually a space to go a little bit bigger than this. So I'm leaving a little border around here because I'm not going to follow exactly the outline of here. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my router template going. Okay, this thing is great. A couple of you might have seen me use it before. Uh, this is a fantastic tool um, that I've only recently bought. So normally when I've made templates in the past, I'll have some sort of drawing or printout or something like that. I'll use a jigsaw to kind of cut to approximate line and then kind of sand in or something like, or use files and stuff to get the right shape. Um, or sometimes use a you know, hand router very carefully to try and do it. But it's kind of... Painful. Um, I, I haven't found a good way to, to create something from scratch. A lot of people will just use you know, CNC machines or something like that, which I don't have. Instead of this brand